This area. This is Josiah Plays Shadowrun Chronicles Boston Lockdown. I've just arrived back after my first run, which was successful. And uh, there I am wearing my stop sign. And let's report in to Smedley, let him know how things went. Welcome back, Chummer. Jolly good show you put on there. Thanks. Strange how they seem to know we were coming. Almost like someone warned them. Yeah, what's up with that? Yes, peculiar. But you handled yourself well, I am told. So here's the other half of the fee. Don't tell me you did not set this up. This was a test, right? You lied to me. I might have announced to their leadership that they could expect a physical response from me. I do need to make it known I am a man of my word. I see. What a motherfucker. Crossed out by my Johnson. First thing. This is some Shadowrun. And you used me as an expendable asset? I believe that is the job description of a shadow runner. But I was confident that you could handle the heat. He's got a good point there. Well, I can. What now? Now I know your abilities under pressure, and you graduate from my personal shadow runner preschool. Come see me again if you want big boy. Thanks, my lady. Another 1,800 new yen. Sweet. How much did that shotgun cost? <laughs> you have a moment? Ni hao, back so soon? You need some extra iron to deal with trouble in the rocks? Anything you know about what's going on there? Dragon Slayers have it in for the Hell Riders, driving them right out of the turf, it seems. Dragon Slayers are new, right? How come they pack so much punch? Rumor is, they were supplied with a truckload of guns by an outside source. I truly know if they were buying local. Any idea what they're packing? I've seen some heavy iron. Panther Assault Cannons? MMGs? This area is okay, if I find anybody that's got a Panther Assault Cannon, I'm probably fucking toast. Good to know, thanks. What do I have that I can sell? Basically nothing. I mean, I could sell my old shotgun for 200. That'd get me 2890. The shotgun I want's 3600 though. I'll have to wait till the next, um... <clears throat> after the next round to get it. Okay. Everybody wants to talk to me again. Now, maybe this time I'll get a side quest or side mission from somebody. Pancake, my man! What's cracking? Disperse immediately and thank you. Hey, Pancake, I have a question. Pancake says welcome. Interested in some fine Zoe shoes, maybe? Actually, I was wondering if you had something with a bit more protection around. Of course, of course. Some vests are so well insulated, you hardly notice the bullet holes. As long as it's clean, I guess. Sure, sure, just give me a minute. I'll get it nice and shiny. Or maybe you need some quick spray on. I just found a cotton full of the stuff. Polymer coating? You found it? The things people throw in the trash. And it isn't much past the expiration date either. So I just use this to give me armor and I can wear anything. Yeah, just slot it in the right gear slot, it'll be usable. You can dress any way you like and still be protected. Right, I've already got some of that though, sir. So he doesn't have anything new. Crazy Cory. He has a lot of armor. I have a question about this. How come certain. Yeah. 
Here's Buster. Buster Rhymes. Boy, Buster, what's the news? Those oh, slayers are still making trouble. The whole rocks is like on fire. Make sure to get some backup for your team. Can you recommend someone? There are a couple of guys around here looking for work. Just call them when you need runners to fill up your team. Designated restricted under the Knight Errant exclusivity. Hey, lady. Sesetrin warrior, I can see you have been busy. I did my job. Isn't that what they always say? That's it? That's the whole conversation she wanted to have with me? Hey, Bozeman. Hey, Bozeman. Sup, Chema? Not much. Heading into the rocks, it seems. My drones report a lot of heat over in the rocks. Gangers are causing a lot of static. Better watch yourself. Will do. <clears throat> no, okay. No side missions for me, sir? Look, I'm looking for side missions. Don't, don't jerk me around, people. Hi there. Ah, you returned to the wandering wizard. Or maybe it returned to you. How may I be of service? Explain to me how mana works for magical skills. Oh, that is really easy. Awakened metahumans have the innate ability to channel magical energy through their bodies. But it is a taxing task which causes fatigue. So where does one regain mana? That is a natural process. It will come back in time by itself. But you are well advised to refrain from powering yourself out quickly. It will take time for your body to regain the power required to cast new spells. Uh, bye. See you later. Doc. Doctor, a word please. Oh, you were back, looking for some augmentation. Just select from the console over there and I will get you fixed up right away. Is it dangerous to install wear? Of course not. Unless you're a mage, that is. Cyberware will reduce the power you need to cast spells. Some nonsense about interfering with your natural essence. So I shouldn't install cyberware if I plan on using magic? There are always more expensive solutions. Betaware reduces your essence by less and is more in tune with the body. So, can I interest you in some augmentation? I don't know. Your establishment looks a bit old school. Do you have any anesthetics around at all? Disinfectants, perhaps? Naturally. I am a trained professional, you know. I just hide it so the junkies don't try to nick it all. That's reassuring. That's wicked reassuring. <clears throat> they have anything new? Uh, no. Okay. Mark Carter and the ladies, nothing new going on here. Hmm. Just a second. Getting a code for my digital backer reward things. 
Okay, anyway. So. Um. What's up, Razor? Hi, Weena girl. Ah, you showed those dragon monkeys what's what, eh, Chama? Did you stick them up good? For a pretend ganger, you are sure enthusiastic about combat. I told you we were serious. We plan to head into the rocks tonight and catch us some slayers. By bringing a knife to a gunfight? Not the brightest idea. Hmm, you may be right. I hear they're packing heavy. They are. I wouldn't go in with what you got. These guys are serious about things. It's not just some gang brawl they're after. You shouldn't go after him just using, for example, say, a fucking shovel as your weapon. Like, who would do that? <laughs> hmm. There we go. I got some keys here. Uh... Hold on a second. What do I do with this? Access this page and download your items. Um. Just a second. <laughs> okay. Um, moving forward here. Anything new? No? I'm still going into battle using a spade as my primary weaponry. Legit. Hey! Hey! I hear we might be working together soon. That right. Anything I need to know? Apart from the fact that I'm awesome? <laughs> Apart from the fact that I only have your word to go on for that. Ha! <laughs> I can act pretty much anything, as long as it's got a circuit. A lot of people are paranoid these days, and actually offline their systems. You mean, disconnect them from the tricks? Yeah, it's rude! Usually you can reconnect easily enough, but you have to do it in the flesh. Which is exactly the reason for people like you. People like me, huh? So, I get to push a button, and you do the rest? That's the idea! We're gonna have a lot of fun. Oh, pet we are. What's up, Payday? Hey, Payday, that was a good run we had there. I've had worse. Yes. The Slayers are up in their game, it seems. They're all over the rocks now. Then maybe we have to be more impressive next time around. I hear you. This area hmm. is restricted. Okay, nobody else wants to talk to me. So back to Smedley we go. Back so soon? Ready for another job? I am. What have you got? Well, our encounter with the Dragon Slayers did not seem to have sufficiently impressed them. The riots in the rocks continue. Riots. You want me to clean them out again? No. Things like that get old I fast. Exclusivity. I want to know why they are expanding so aggressively. I need more intel. More intel? Maybe grab one of their lieutenants, make them talk? I was thinking of something a bit more thorough. 
you will raid one of their locations and get on-site access to their data stores. I love the fact that a street gang has data stores. <laughs> you mean grab their hardware? Nothing quite so crude. Perhaps you have met Jane, a very talented young lady who has an innate gift of communicating with all things technological. A babysitting job for a technomancer? I can do that. That sounds wicked awesome. Not just that. Since the Dragon Slayers are both this backward area. and paranoid, their critical systems will be disconnected from the net. Ah, oh, that wicked sucks. Now I get it. We need to get close enough to hack into it. And there I was thinking I had wasted perfectly good Nuyen on a simple mind. I suggest you hire some help. There are always miscreants around looking for work. Hey, some of my best friends are miscreants. Payday isn't available? He is needed for another assignment. Also, you should choose team members based on what works best for you. I trust your judgment in this. Mm. I'll look at the hired help hanging around. Anything else? Don't forget to have fun. Thanks, Smedley. Alright, so... Uh, oh, hey, Jen. How you doing? What's going on? What, what's, uh... What's new? Okay, so no payday this time. Apparently I'm gonna have to protect Jane. So there's still no available side missions or anything. Back at work. Oh no, work? What is this madness? Making people work and everything. Picking up clues. Story mission. Smedley has hired you to grab some intel from a Dragon Slayer hideout. Two-player co-op continues the storyline. Side missions might become... You know, I, I, there are no side missions. You're married now? That's new? Well, how did the wedding go? Was it awesome? Crazy Cory. He sounds pretty legit. Noel Bog. Little Crow. Mythics. Shucks. All right, we're taking Crazy Cory. It's all about Crazy Cory. He's gonna tank some stuff up for me, and he can lockpick. Oh, <laughs> look at him! He looks like he is ready for some shit. This dude is nuts. We could stop off at a Guar concert and <laughs> fucking Crazy Cory. So crazy. It was awesome. No bad things. Nice weather. Cool, cool. Did you have a lot of people come, or...? The harbor is quiet, a cool breeze smelling of brine and solvent drives out the stink of the city. Get to the Dragon Slayer's mainframe access point, protect Jane while she hacks the system. Only I about need to 100. get to a hardwired access point to download. Keep your eyes peeled. What about that console over there? That's the access control for the door. So that's no good, huh? Oh, right. Look out! <laughs> These turrets are well armored and pack a punch. I can bypass their armor with my hacking attacks and take them out. Your combat display will tell you if enemies are armored and against which types of attack. 
I see. Crazy Cory's here. What else do we need? Perfectly honest. Only about a hundred, huh? Mostly family. Well, that's cool. Organ harvesting. Wait, don't I have organ harvesting? I do. And demolish. And she's got hacking, and he's got lock picking, so we should be able to get into anything. Alright, well, there's a turret there. Has seven armor, but it only has three hit points. She can do her, like, fancy hacking attacks to kill it without needing, so we can, like, hide behind stuff. Okay, so first of all, there's something to demolish in there. So that is a hacking thing to open this door, apparently. And we don't know what's going to be over here, but probably a bunch of things that are going to try to kill my face directly off. So, let's send Crazy Cory ahead first. Because, you know, he's Crazy Cory. Look at him. How crazy he is. Um, Ares Macro Technology. That's one of the big corporations in Shadowrun. They make weapons. There's another entrance right there. The thing to look at. Alright, Jane. Move up to right here. Try data spike this. Alright, she missed, because she's too far away. I'll move my character up to here. Oh shit, I guess I shouldn't be right on the corner. Maybe I should, uh... move here. The gene come up to this spot. Easy Cory can go scouting a bit. Oh, I need this. I need somebody to spot this thing so that she can actually do the attack. Sixty-three percent from here, not bad. All right, cool. She took it out with her hacking attack. Hack attack, motherfucker! Oh, I see some guys. Easy Corey could get in there and start fucking shit up. Why not? He's crazy. He'll just do things like this. Doesn't even care. Let's see, what do these guys have? They just have guns, right? Like pistols on their belts. This guy's having a smoke. He's about to not even know what hit him. Do this, Crazy Cory. <laughs> One down. Did he get hit or not? Yeah, he did. Alright, so... I'll just let Crazy Cory continue to work here. Meanwhile, meanwhile, 
my character I'm gonna come over here and examine the possibilities of some organ removal Jane and hack this Drek, dragon slayers. Let's waste them. Oh shit! There's enemies in there. Oh, hold on. Let me get this organ. I discovered a DTL chip. It's got a smiley face on it. Nice. I just hacked a BTL chip out of a person, basically. All right, crazy Corey. Gonna need you. Come over here. Maybe the enemies haven't seen us yet, so we'll be safe. I don't know. Like, maybe they won't come out and immediately start killing us. Crazy C, as we, as we call them. CC, Crazy Cory, Braycore. <laughs> Look at this guy. He puts the crazy in Crazy Cory. Anarchy symbol painted on the wall right there. DS for Dragon Slayers. That's supposed to be like a dead dragon's head. <laughs> it's nice. All right, here we go. Ready for this crazy core? I might just wait. If they're not going to come out right now, I might just wait on his dash cooldown. It doesn't look like anything's happening, so... Alright, cool. Fuck it, just charge in, crazy Cory. Roar! Uh-oh, what, what do we got? We've got a cutter. And... An enforcer. He's a guy with a gun, the other guy's got a sword. Okay. There's a lock to pick there. The door to open there. Alright, let's um... Let's just run right up in here. Oh, I screwed up. That's not how that was supposed to go. Oops. Alright, well now we can see these guys. She could try to like... I'm gonna move in here. I'm gonna bull rush this guy. He's stunned. Then I'm gonna have her move up to here and try black out this guy. Which missed. Okay, great. He just got worked. There we go. Boom, back. Welcome back, Jen. How you doing? Besides the fact that you're at work and you're married. I guess is a bad thing and a good thing. Maybe they're both good things. They have they have some pretty uh some pretty some some wicked graffiti. It's wicked awesome. Wicked cool, dragon slayers. 
I like the fact that this guy's blood is now spilling out and like obscuring their stupid like branding they have on the floor. All right, crazy Cory can't act. He's done. Okay. Come in here and take a look at this. Personal message from Big Drecker to Luna. I've picked up the package. Good stuff. They added some flamethrowers into the mix. More bodies coming up. I have told the gang not to maul them like last time. The boys get carried away sometimes. Must be all that jazz. Jazz is a drug in Shadowrun. Alright, Crazy Core, pick this lock. I discovered some hipster frame glasses. Yes. Exactly what I need in my life. Exactly what I need. I need to come over here and demolish this. Ooh, I got an EMP grenade out of this crate that I just kicked open. This leads right back to where we started off, right? Yeah, so we could have come straight in this way instead of coming up here had we uh, known about it. Alright, let's see. There's a hackable thing in there. Let's move... Move her into this corner. She should be fairly safe there. Gonna wait a second. I wanna see what this is. Another hackable thing in there. Personal message from Luna to Big Drecker. The package has been dropped and I need you to fetch it at the port. Hellriders are resisting our takeover and we need more iron. I will take care of the delivery to our sponsor, but we need some extra bodies, so make sure you pick up anyone suitable. Okay. Hmm. Looks very industrial in here. Sounds very industrial. Alright, let's... Open this up. See what there is to see. Come in here and hide behind these barrels. So there's another turret. I don't see any personnel. See, where can I move to that the turret won't be able to get me? Move here. Oh, there's two turrets. Alright. Maybe if I hide right here, they can't shoot me. That's that pillar. Gain will move. But clearly there's no people in here. Because otherwise we'd be able to see them from one of these angles. I think Jane should be safe to move to here. She shouldn't be hittable by the turrets there. Alright, so I just got my ass shot off over here by this turret that I didn't think would be able to shoot me. I guess because this cover is low, this part, you know, these barrels in this crate, it was able to just shoot right over the top of them, which I guess makes sense if I look at it from this angle. Well, shit. <laughs> Alright, she should be able to move here. Take this one out, hopefully. Oh, that one's down. 
there's really no reason for me to run over there and try to beat on this thing. I'm not going to be able to do enough damage to it. Unless I can stun it with Bull Rush, but let's just... Where can I go that it won't be able to hit me at all? Maybe here. Probably not, though. Maybe here. Huh. What's this? I found a used polymer coating. Oh, cool. That's like what I'm using for armor right now. So that's an extra one I can just sell. Did it? Oh, it missed me. I'm, I'm really doing poorly at estimating whether or not something will be able to shoot me. <laughs> no, I need Jane to take that thing out. Well, I could just move up and have her attack and just hope that she hits. Because otherwise she's going to get pretty pasted. Do it, Jane! 74%. That's not a lot of hope I'm feeling. And she missed. So now we've got to try. Hmm. You can't dash far enough to get to it either. I could try bull rushing it and hopefully not and hopefully stun it. All right, cool. It's it worked. I didn't know if a stun would work on the turret or not, but it did. So now I can just destroy it. Damn animations! Am I right? <laughs> this, this game is pretty low budget. Them animations are like as amazing as. All right, so that that's it. There's nothing left in here besides the two hackable things. There's no other enemies or anything. Uh, right, well then let's go ahead and have Jane come over here. do this a worm has been uploaded give it a bit of time to unlock the data hope it won't take too long yeah hope it won't take too long we're not you know trying to wait around here all day so the, she's uploaded the worm let's see if we can get somewhere a little more defensible Guys coming. Drek! The data uh -oh. was easy enough to decrypt, but this is mostly payroll data. Can't these gangers use a central server? The Dragon Slayers have a payroll? That seems uncharacteristically organized. Don't act so surprised. If you want to run a gang, you need some business sense. Yeah, the <laughs> fucking payroll. <laughs> I like their gang accountant. Any idea on who this businessman is? Businesswoman? Goes by the name of Luna. Oh yeah, her name was in those 
correspondences that we read. Can't wait to get acquainted. So we need to look for another access point then. All right, what do we have here? So dudes just ran in. They got a bar guest, a guy with an, a fucking sword, another bar guest. Is that it? No, no dudes with guns? All right. Crazy Cory. Here's what's gonna happen. You're gonna run over here. Ah, uh, there's two guys with swords. And then you're gonna dash. You're gonna dash to right here, and you're gonna kill this motherfucker. Yeah. Don't bring a katana to a crazy ass troll with fucking cleaver fight, sir. And my character is gonna bravely run away, away. Now I guess I'll just um take out this bar guest with my fucking shovel. Uh, we'll move over to here. Fry. Pretty sure that animals like this are immune to her tech attacks. So she'll just try to... Yeah, no good. Crazy kid. Getting beat up. My character, too. I guess that's all of them, yeah. This game plays like Tactics Ogre, said somebody in the chat. I never actually played that. Look at Crazy Cory though, he gives a fuck. He's just gone through his armor, he still has all of his 19... 19 hit points left. Alright, Jane. Let's, uh... Over here, hack this. Port is open, sifting data. Hurry up! A bunch of these dreckheads just showed up to the party. Dreckheads. Let's, um, back it up a bit here. Oh god, here they come. That guy has a gun. That guy has a gun. Do, do, do. Fortunately, he picked a poor place to hide. Um, we have here. Couple bar guests, not another, not another dude at this point. Pretty sure she can't affect them with her. Yeah, it didn't do anything. Try to shoot this one. Yeah, chances wasn't good there. I'm pretty sure this is what we're looking for. It's heavily encrypted, though. I need to take it back home. Finishing download now. Can we get out of here now? All for it. There's the exit way, huh? Escape or defeat the remaining enemies. I'm going to elect to defeat. Uh. 
Uh oh. Ow, no. I do not approve of that. What you just did, sir? Do not approve. See any others? Who's this? Some, another asshole with a sword. Oh god. This is bad. I'm about to die. Alright, well. First things first. Let's see if we can. Alright, cool. He's stunned. My character should be able to kill this one. Crazy Cory should be able to come over here. Kill this one. Then this one that's stunned can now kill. That's not exactly what I had in mind. How oh, did we kill them all? They're dead, we win. Now we go home. Problem? Yes. Victory. No problem. Yeah, Jane. We handled this like pros. And now for the super loud victory music. I got five karma. Okay. Oh, we win. So, while I was on that mission, I, I found some hipster frame glasses. There we go. Since everyone could get corrective eye surgery from the auto dock on the corner, Wearing empty frames is a bit less frowned upon these days. <laughs> wow. That was... no. <laughs> Just so much no to the hipster frame glasses. Turn this thing in. We got it. Jane is already analyzing their data to find out what the gang is up to. They said they're going to make it soon to where when you're in a cutscene talking to somebody like this, the other yeah, players the don't show up. That way you don't just see a whole bunch of players standing inside of each other looking awful. They had reinforcements there really fast. If you ask me, they're too well organized for common gangers. Indeed they are. It's pretty clear that they have a sponsor. But who would actually want a batshit crazy outfit like the Dragon Slayers? Somebody named Luna, apparently. Don't look at me. I've only been here a couple of days. No matter. It will be sorted out eventually. Go stock up and report back when you're ready. Oh, he gave me 2,000 new yen and some armor that I don't need. So I, can, I can sell some stuff. I have a lot of money now. I'm going to be able to get that new shotgun. And I got a lot of karma, so I can get crew body for three more hit points. And I can get my uh, shotgun blast ability. Deals all damage. Deal damage to a cone in front of me instead of just one thing. Cool. Kate doesn't have anything new to say to me, but Jane does. That went well. Hmm. I think we did great. Even though I don't like being out in the streets so much. Why not? The meat space is just so slow. Matrix is faster, like zooming through space. So you're a stay-at-home shadow runner? <laughs> Shush! You have no idea what you're missing out on. 
You'll be glad I have you back. Thanks, Jane. What's going on with Razor? Hi, you seem to be in a good mood. I heard how you aced those dragon slayers. Way to go. If I ever need a cheerleader, I'll be sure to let you know. Careful, we Halloweeners are not some pushovers like those slayers. So, Ka. Then again, you guys ain't exactly Halloweenies yet, are you? Aw, oh, give us a break, will ya? Still doesn't have anything new. But I could sell. Previous owner, Golden Bender. This golden rear been modified by MOM to be used for all your armoring needs. What? Oh, this BTL chip is valuable that I can sell. Better than life chips. Slot them into your brain and be blown away. Most people end up as dried out husks, forgetting to eat and drink, though. Yeah, that's kind of a problem. I'm gonna keep that EMP grenade. I'll sell this. Alright, so I've got a lot of money. I can go get that better shotgun now. Um, what? Oh, sorry. Be right back, everybody. I'm going to be clicking on that helpful link that Word of Stam Zap has left for us. Like, wait, let me just quickly disable my auto, my antivirus real fast first. Okay, now I'm clicking on the link. Bozeman, you seem pretty busy. The riots are creating a lot of opportunities. I have my hands full right now. That's it, huh? <laughs> Alright, I want this, I want this gun. Exclusivity. Spaz. And now I can sell my old gun. Alright. Pancake doesn't have anything new to say, but Buster does. Where is everybody? Well, the Dragon Slayer riots, which I have designated as interesting, have caused quite a stir. Everyone is either bashing heads or buttoning down for when the hammer drops. The hammer. Are your boys involved as well? We're the friendly neighborhood watch. We gotta make good on our responsibility for the community. All right. Out of the goodness of your hearts? Of course. That and the subscriptions to our services that all business people around here invest in. So a protection racket. Got it. Cannot judge. What's up, Doc? Hi, 
talk? What's the matter? I find myself in need of some ahem, materials. I can always use new supplies. I'll keep that in mind. Hey, that's weird. He doesn't even have the uh, headwear that he had for sale before anymore. I still have all my essence. But I don't have any cyberware yet. Okay. Let's, uh, sla Snake Pliskin is here! Alright! Have you escaped from New York and or Los Angeles lately, sir? Nice afro. Apparently Snake Pliska needs a decorate. <laughs> well, let's talk to Smedley again. This Dragon Slayer affair has my interest peaked, I must admit. I want to know what they are up to. The riot in the rocks and South End are surely an overture to something. Hmm. An overture to something, yes. So, another spy mission then? No. We'll do this the polite way. We'll ask them. What? Ask them? You aren't serious, are you? From the data you gathered, we got the time and location of their next meet with their sponsor. And you want me this to run interference? On the contrary. I want you to go and see whom she is meeting and about what. So, surveillance, then? No. Luna only has a few gangers with her. You can corner her and beat two birds with one stone. Can I go beat some birds with a rock, apparently? Luna? Not a great street name. So, shoot first, ask questions later. I can get with that. I can get with that, yo. Don't let yourself be fooled by her act. She has never allowed anyone to catch her, and she rules the Dragon Slayers with an iron fist. You have like a cyber arm, or are you talking about like a metaphorical iron fist? There's a first time for everything. I'm on it. Jane will be providing Matrix support. The place you're hitting is an upscale apartment building. So, we'll have to deal with the cops as well? That Useful! Oops. Make haste, friend. Luna is moving out as we speak. Wait, what did he say? We don't know. That thing I skipped could have been... Really could have said anything there. Basically, I'm assuming he said blah blah blah, Jane is gonna do something to keep the cops off your ass, don't even trip. <laughs> Again, we're planning this mission literally on the front steps of the police station, so perfectly a legitimate place to have meetings while you're planning highly illegal activities. This area. Okay, so here we go. We still got the yellow alert, the gang alert, and we have one mission, Party Crashers. There's a secret meeting going on between the Dragon Slayers and their unknown benefactor. Smedley wants you to break up their little gathering and send a clear message. Alright, who am I gonna hire? Shucks, copying my fashion style. Mm. 
Noel Bog. Little Crow. Mythics. Synfluxian. Sucks. <laughs> Svelte. Tsunamis. Got blue hair. Can't fault him for that. And so. And Waka. And Crazy Cory's still in the mix. Oh, how do we not take Crazy Cory again? Okay, hold up. Crazy Cory worked out pretty well the last time. Yeah, I think it's gonna have to be Crazy Cory again. I mean, how do I not? Look at him. He's so crazy. Not <laughs> like just everything he has going on here. He's <laughs> just nuts. He's even got cyber arms, apparently. All right. Welcome to the team, Crazy Cory. Welcome to the team. Mission briefing. Following Luna's signal, Jane guides you to an upscale apartment building in a residential area. You wonder whom she wants to meet there. Catch Luna at her meet. Good day, and welcome to your first Matrix-supported run. Please fasten your body armor and make sure that all weapons are loaded and pointed towards bad people at all times. All right, Jane's getting a little sassy. Reading you loud and clear. Can you see us? Affirmative. The cameras in the hallway are under my control, and I can get limited data feeds from your comm links. So you'll be our eyes and ears. Eyes, ears, and digital fairy godmother. I've disabled all connections to the outside, so you should have a clear field for the next ten minutes or so. All right. Thanks. Anything you can tell me about security here? Yeah, anything you can tell me? Jane? Meat bodies, most likely. I can't get into the apartment cameras without them noticing, but the power draw suggests some automated defenses. Hmm. Sentry guns. Great. Gain access to the apartment and disrupt the meeting. Find out who the Dragon Slayers are dealing with. All right. Crazy Corey. You need to take the lead because let's keep it real here. You're the expendable meat shield. There's a little thing we can talk to. There's a thing we can look at. This terminal hacking. Some mysterious looking tech thing on the wall. And there's a door we can open. Something's beeping down here. Or in here. And, uh, you know, we could get some beverages. Anybody want some juice? Some juice is available there. Some other things. Is that... Does this vending machine have hamburgers in it? Is that what I'm seeing? Personal message from Janitorial Service Unit 12 to Boston Housing Authority. Dear Pencil Pushers, I've had it up to here with your random inspections. Last time I had to wait for three hours for your inspector to show up and walk all 34 floors with her only to get some grief about the lack of backup circuits in our electricity. I've told you and your minions time and again, this building does not have an auxiliary backup grid and we still have a valid permit for operating without one. Next time you can just walk up each floor and check the fuse boxes by yourself. And don't get me started on the drainage. I wonder if I can use that to my advantage. I don't know. I know that that big bite looks awfully tasty. Crazy Cory, can you smash this machine open and get us some vittles? 
We don't want to have to do this on an empty stomach, do we? He's a troll. Just pick that thing up and smash it. All right. It's just some pretty uh, pimping music they've got going in this place, too. Oh, that's a camera. But apparently she's got the cameras on lock, so we don't have to worry about that. Well, I guess we'll move up to here. So, there's a door. There's a door. And there's this thing we can talk to. That's our three options. The crazy Cory, why don't you come up here? And why don't we try... Oh, I was going to quick save, then I realized there's no quick saving. This is an online game. It doesn't work that way. You just do it and see what happens. Open up, maintenance crew. Go away. I'm the janitor and you are no maintenance crew. <laughs> that voice acting is epic. Well, you got us there. Can you help us out? Maybe cut the power to the apartment across the hallway? Oh, you don't want to go in there. They're bad business. So, they're not your favorite tenants, I take it. What if they had to move out all of a sudden? Yeah, yeah, I get it. You'll go on a murderous rampage. But if you absolutely have to do that, you need to get me a beer first. I need to get him a beer first? <laughs> What? You heard me. Get me a drink. Vending machines out there. No way I'm going out there before the cops have come and gone. <laughs> so if I get him a beer, he'll cut the power for me? All right. Let's get him beer. Are you really fetching beer for a drunk janitor? Don't judge me. Shut up. They have, they have beer vending machines in the hallway in this apartment building? What kind of apartment building is this? Thanks, that'll keep me going until the shooting stops. You might want to check out the fuse box at the end of the hallway. Thanks, janitor. Next to the stairs. Yeah, I kept telling them not to plug their illegal dreck into the house circuits, but they won't listen. <laughs> I guess they got what's coming to them. You let them know. You let them know, janitor. Okay. Ah, the fuse box. All right. Well, let's uh do that then. Go crazy, Cory. House grid shows a sharp power drop inside the apartment. Not the primary circuits, but whatever they hooked up to the auxiliaries. Hopefully that took care of their sentry guns. Let's see what's in here. Oh, something to pick. And some more delicious big bites. <laughs> Alright, Crazy Cory, you're the lockpicking guy. Get it done. Found a cred stick. Oh, that'll just be straight up money right there. Cool. Wait, what's this? Oh, I found a shotgun, too. Not a, it's. I think it's not as good as the one I have now, but still. I could sell it for some... Some dough. For some scratch. Alright, Crazy Cory, let's do this. Uh-oh. What have we here? Someone with a death wish. That is a ridiculous looking elf. Someone with a death wish, he says. See, what we should do is be smart and, like, duck back around this corner and let him come over here and get killed by us. 
I think we will be. He's not smart, on the other hand. Ugh! Get shoveled. Just killed that guy with a folding spade. <laughs> Let's see what's up. Well, I don't see any sentry guns. I just see one more guy with a... He's actually got a pistol. Let's see if we can lure him as well. I think he's coming. All right, that's fine. He's wisely staying back. Crazy Cory laughs at your pathetic damage. And then he hacks you. Cuts you open and watches you slowly fall to the ground. Dead! That's what you get from messing with Crazy Cory. Personal message from Cruzado to Tack Shack. Tack Shack, stop stalling. I need you to close the deal with those gangers. I have the Sun Priests breathing down my neck for material and I don't want to become their subject of choice. With all the bodies these guys have been shuttling around, surely one of them must be suitable for sacrifice. Wow. I have a feeling these, this is as technology. They're the ones that have things like sun priests and, and they talk and do human sacrifice and shit. They're like the most evil corporation in the Shadowrun world, basically. Um... And I found a med kit. Fantastic. Crazy Cory. Should get up here and get ready to pop this door. <laughs> Why don't you break that vase on your way over there? <laughs> Fuck it, huh? Alright, do it, buddy. Drek, oh. we have visitors. It's been a pleasure, my dears, but I really must dash. She looks like a business professional. Luna. She's like a member of Insane Clown Posse. You have some nerve coming here. You have no idea what you have gotten yourself into. Uh-oh. What the fuck is he wearing on his head? Well, Tack Shack. He's apparently a little bit pissed at us. Luna just flew up into the sky like... I don't know, like a person who flies up into the sky. Are we just going in? I think we're just going in. Hopefully there's not a bunch of dudes hiding over here where I can't see him. Crazy Cory. Hmm... He can't get in range to attack anyone, can he? I guess he can if he dashes. Alright, do it. Take this guy out. Are there any others? No? Okay, just attack Shack. It says, defeat the mage. Don't get confused by the illusions. Alright, I'll try not to get confused. Alright, I'm gonna move in. I could actually probably bull rush him and stun him.
No? I guess I can't. Alright, well shit, now I'm kind of standing here. Looking dumb. I mean, I could shoot him, but I'd be standing here with no cover. That seems like a poor idea. Well, that's a big cone. That's the real one, though. Crazy Cory gives a fuck. Yeah. I could just blast all of them with a cone from the shotgun. Or... I could move... And then I could get him with the... Bull Rush. Oh, he resisted the stun. Uh-oh. Now he's... Now he's getting him out. Uh-oh. Oh, whoa, why me? Why me? <laughs> Not me! Alright, well that's getting very rude. Fine. You know what? It's time. Well, first I need to move so they don't have cover. What the fuck did I just do? Wow. Okay, that was a terrible thing to do. Come over here. Hit him. We made it out alive, but Luna got away with some sort of magic trick. I guess I dropped him. <clears throat> nice. That wasn't so bad. Don't be too hard on yourself. You're not the first person she's escaped from. She, like, flew into the air while spinning. Any intel on the guy she was meeting? All I heard was mage talk, but I am checking his background. Not much to show for then, and now Luna knows we're on to her. You can't always win. At least we stopped her from whatever she was doing. Or did we? <laughs> now he's doing the slow bleeding death. Well, at least, I mean, the bad news is she got away. The good news is I got five karma, so, you know. Silver lining. Presumably I'll get paid, too. Because I'm a charity shadow runner. I don't work for free. Buying st the latest in stop sign apparel is not free, sir. Swings and roundabouts. <laughs> yeah. Okay, let's see. Smedley. Talk to me. Wait. Can I buy anything with my five karma? I could get one of these two things, spot weakness, get a bonus to my critical chance, or range attacks, gain one ranged, or can't afford those, plus 5% damage, plus 5% to hit, or I can't afford this, increasing my chance to hit with my shotgun, lowers cooldown on bull rush, so... Unless I want one of these two things, I can't afford anything. I don't really feel like buying this just for the sake of buying something. I'm going to save my points, I think. Let's see, what does this do? Critical damage, spirit powder, and, and drone ratings. Yeah, I think 
Yeah, more crit does sound good. That's definitely the one I'm going to take. Um... I think I'm going to save my five points for now, though. So that Remington Sportsman, previous owner, Savelic family, was crafted near a volcano in Auvergne in France. What? Mithril Mirrors Remington Sportsman, Judd stuff. Okay, so it's... Mine has 10% more crit chance, but otherwise they're the same. So I'll sell that one. And I got another med kit and an EMP grenade. And I got... Oh, I didn't get a new... I didn't get any extra armor this time. Let's see how much money I get. Luna got away. And whoever she was meeting had some serious illusion magic going. I think it is. I think they got to like design an item and they got to have their name on it and like a little tiny text that they got to write because that's the second item I found like that. And I'm pretty sure that was something they got to do in one of the backer tiers. Whoever she was meeting had some serious illusion magic. Don't blame yourself, my friend. Happens to the best of us. He's wearing a monocle. <laughs> a troll with a monocle. Never happened to me before. You could have told me Luna was a mage. I am as flustered as you are. Seems in my eagerness to seize the opportunity I was ill-informed. I don't think Smedley's telling me everything. Do we have anything on the mage she was meeting? Yeah, do we, Smedley? No, he's not on any records and definitely not known in the underworld. Smells like corporate wage mage to me. So that's how they're getting their heavy ordinance. Right. I am confident that we will get her next time. Go spend some money, then check back with me. Will do. 2400 new yen and a focus. Which I'm not going to use because I'm not a spellcaster, but I can sell it. Okay. Smell Lord is here. Ozman doesn't have anything new to say. Buster does, though. What's up, Buster? What are you guys celebrating? The riots are dying down. About fragging time. Already? That wasn't... That didn't take long. That's a cause for celebration? Well, me and the boys were planning to have a night out in the rocks, and we were afraid we had to call it off. Guess that's as good a reason as any. Oh, he has new stuff. Well, first of all, what am I selling here? This cred stick, the equivalent of cash in the 21st century. Untraceable and anonymous. Very popular with shadow runners and criminals. Standard white plastic version. So that's worth 360. I'm gonna keep all these. I can sell that focus for 360. I can sell that extra shotgun for 260. All right, so I have 5,300. Let's see. Used polymer coating is what I have. Vacate the premises. About nine armor and minus one movement. Five and minus one movement. Elemental essence distilled from the sap of an awakened tree. 
The essence consists of two substances, a sparkling clear liquid and a thin layer of conductive rubber. The essence is applied to clothing that is treated with rubber and enhances the rubber's properties to include a limited amount of armor and an improved rate of movement, adding a certain spring to one's gait. So if I use that, I gain three hit points. I lose my three physical armor, but I gain a plus one to movement, which is really quite good. Or I could replace my used polymer coating with a regular polymer co coating. Would you give me six armor? But no movement bonus. Alright, well, I will consider armor stuff. That's one possible thing I could spend some money on. What's she got? Oh, she has all kinds of guns now. Oh, wow, she even has improved frag grenades, and improved EMP grenades, and stun grenades. Stun grenades cause concussions, ringing ears, and temporary blindness. Do not throw it, children. <laughs> Look away from blast for best results. Nice. Uh, so, she's got a new kind of shotgun. This is the one I've got. That's the modified Revington Sportsman. A shotgun for hunting and skeet shooting, proven to work just as well on a two-legged skeet. That one does 6 to 10. Eighty-five percent accuracy. Oh, I see. It only has ten percent crit chance instead of twenty, though. All right, I can live without that. Let's see. Premises. This means there's probably new cyberware as well. Oh, and the saga of Mark and the girls continues apparently. More armor is always good. Maybe you can get implants somewhere? Yeah, well this is the place that sells the implants. Oh yeah. Wow, look at all these things. So, these are like better cyber arms. 5% damage bonus, 5% accuracy bonus, 10% organ harvest bonus. Pretty nice. Reinforced sidearm with metal coating. Uses a full replacement. This arm will greatly reduce recoil and fatigue, allowing you to hit better and more accurately. One essence cost. Or the stabilized cyber arms. Five percent damage bonus, one range bonus, ten percent lock picking bonus. Hmm. Getting a cyber arm is pretty tempting. Damage accuracy, organ harvesting. Very expensive though. Headwear. Comlink. Comlinks can be worn, but the implanted version will give you low-level battlefield analysis tools as well as better connectivity for all your hacking applications. Disperse immediately and vacate the premises. Bonus to crit premises. chance, bonus to hacking. Cranial remote. They say the wise man keeps it all in his head, even more so with rigor remote control units, which allow you better drone control. 20% crit damage bonus. And a bonus to drones. Hmm. Okay. Legs. They've got cyber legs. Replacement legs with improved joints and electromuscular activation. Gives you an extra hit point and an extra movement. Ooh. Glandular implants for the lower body and legs have made a comeback in the 2070s. There is still a slight impact to user mobility. But the tailor-made hormones will make you sharper and deadlier in combat. Immediately and vacate the premises. More hit points. Wow. 
This area Minus two is to movement? Restricted. Nah. Not a chance. Okay. Cyberware torso. Dermal plating. It's been around for a couple of decades and provides subcutaneous polymer plates to protect vital organs. Uh, it shows your essence here. On the gear selection screen. Right now I have six essence. Six mana. Every point of essence you lose, you lose a point of mana. That's the only effect of it. So if you're not going to cast spells or do summoning, you don't really give a shit about essence. But the thing is, once you lose essence, it's lost permanently. So like, if you use up all your essence on certain body slots and then something comes along later that you want in a different slot, you're shit out of luck. So you have to be kind of careful about what you buy as far as cyberware. Oh yeah, so we're looking at dermal plating. Been around for a couple of decades and provides subcutaneous polymer plates to protect vital organs. The set covers most vital zones on the torso. You get an extra hit point, you gain three tech armor. That's not that good. That's actually shitty. It's only tech armor, which doesn't protect you. Most attacks are physical or magical. Tech attacks are pretty rare. Wired reflexes. In the real Shadowrun game, the pen and paper game, wired reflexes were like the ultimate thing. Those are that's what made Street Samurai's deadly. Like you had to, if you were going to be a cyber character, you had to get wired reflexes because they made you godlike. I don't think they're going to be that good in this game. If you want to survive, you got to be fast. Wired reflexes are fast lanes for your spinal nervous system and enable you to move faster and hit better. 10% crit damage bonus and one movement bonus. That's pretty nice. I wouldn't mind having some wired reflexes, but look how expensive they are for the beta ones. And like, you got to get the beta ones, otherwise you're just using up too much essence. Better to save up for those than to lose the essence, you know. So, I wouldn't mind some wired reflexes. Uh, I wouldn't mind the comm link. I want to know what happened to that other thing that they had for the head. The Bioware, that it just went away. It's no longer available, which kind of sucks because I wanted that. Um, I think the Cyberarm was the most tempting thing, though. Which kind? This one. The one that gave 5% damage, 5% accuracy, and 10% to organ harvest. Pretty tempting to get that. But I feel like there's going to be better ones coming along. So, I should probably wait. Not get any cyberware yet. Yeah, I'm going to wait and not get any cyberware yet. Um, let's see. Organ harvesting is one of the skills, one of the non-combat skills. There's four different ones. I have two of the four. There's hacking, okay, so that allows you to hack into machines and computers when on a run. It sometimes gets you extra information or allows you to turn off things or take control of things or get into areas you couldn't otherwise get into or get extra loot. And then ar organ harvesting is the same thing. There'll be times when you can do organ harvesting on a run to get extra stuff or you know, whatever. Um, and then the other two are demolish and lock picking. Which is breaking stuff and picking locks is pretty obvious. So I have demolishing and I have organ harvesting. And each level of it you get, your chance of being able to do it successfully goes up. So that plus 10% organ harvesting on an, on the cyberware is like getting a free level of it extra on top of what you've already got, which is pretty cool. Um, yeah, I think I'm saving my karma and I'm saving my money for now. But actually, we haven't talked to all the merchants yet, though. Let's see what Payday has to say. Hey, Payday. 
I hear you did well busting up that meeting. Sounds like a good story. It will be. Luna got away, though. Yeah, I hear she's a tough one. Pretty and deadly. I guess, if you go in for that kind of thing. The mage was a surprise, though. I hate mages. You always need to geek the mages first, or you won't live to see the end of it. Always. Yeah, you, I think you can. If you find cyberware on the mission, you can bring it back and have that doc put it in. Because he even said that. He said he could install it for you if you acquire cyberware from the field. Hey! See? I told you I was good. We tore up that apartment and got out without a single cop in sight. How'd you do that? That was easy. This area is Ask me about how I edited the investigation report. Or how I rerouted the box of physical evidence they collected straight to the incinerator. Now, I'm impressed. Told you. The digital domain rocks. Yeah, that's wicked awesome. A wicked good job. What are you all fidgety about? Is it true? You geeked Luna? Not quite. She vanished on me. I heard she's a powerful shaman and she can call on the spirits. Did you see her do that? What kind of magic did she do? Do I look like a news feed to you? You want a first person experience, lot of BTL. Or better yet, go on me to yourself. I may do this, Chummer. I may do this. Me and the boys have been planning to attack the Slayers for some time now. As long as you don't actually do something, I guess you should be safe. Oh, look at all these blunt weapons now. Okay, now we're talking. So many of them. Okay, so nail board's the worst one. And there's use folding spade, which is what I've got. And there's a real folding spade, which just does more damage. And there's a spiked club. Piece of wood with nails and razor wire around her on one end. So that one's a little bit better than my folding spade, but not as much better as a non-used folding spade. And then there's a used shock mace. Mace with an integrated power source and capacitor. Delivers an extra jolt of electricity with the blow. So that one does 10 damage and has 15% crit chance. Ooh. That seems like the thing to own is a used shock mace. Maybe I should just wait until there's a... Wow. Nice. Aztec sword. Yeah, I could really start stacking up some plus to crit. If I had gotten that head thing that was available the first time, which I don't know why it went away, but that had 5% crit chance on it too. I hate to do it, but I'm gonna, I'm gonna, oh. New drugs too. Jazz. Stimulant often used to even the odds in law enforcement. Last five turns. Increases your damage and your crit chance. Decreased accuracy. Wow. Okay. I think I'm gonna just wait, though. The only thing I'm tempted to buy is... is, um... armor, actually. Area is designated restricted under the Knight Errant Exclusivity Accord. Let's talk to Mark Carter again. This area is What's up, Mark? Yeah. 
What is it? You need some tickets for the game? I think I'm a little busy. Aren't you going? Not without Silk! That wouldn't be right! I know how much she wanted to see the game! Romance isn't dead, I see. What are these two whining about now? Go to the damn game! She's got all the Red Sox stuff on. Did you talk to Mark yet? He has a different view on the story. Mark told me my brother threatened him. Jarl is so protective of me, but he means well. You're scared the hell out of your guy. Yeah, I'm gonna give him a wicked earful if he doesn't stop treating me like a kid. Family, eh? You still don't seem to be happy. I think this guy is talking crap. I so wanted to see the game. Well, the season isn't over. It's not like the Red Sox are gonna just disappear. Still, I should be on Fenway right now. So they're still complaining and not... Why, why are they not just going to the game? And dumb people in their drama. So much drama in the LBC, it's kind of hard being Snoop D O double G. Now some way, keep coming yeah, up with funky-ass hits. Like every single day. Alan Larson, that guy's apparently my friend now. Because, you know... Oh yeah, Softcore UK is my friend as well, and he was in the chat here. I think I'm just gonna randomly accept any friend request, I don't even care. At this point, like, whatever, accept, accept, don't give a shit. So, do I want to buy some armor? That's the thing I might want to spend money on. At which point, things get tricky because this sounds awesome. Because it gives you straight up hit points and it gives you it gives you a movement bonus. Straight up hit points are better than armor, actually, because armor only protects you against one type of damage, and once it goes away, it doesn't come back, and you can heal hit points. But this thing gives me six points of armor instead of just three. So that would let me take a little extra damage, but this also gives me a movement bonus, which is awesome. I think I'm gonna get the Elemental Essence. Yeah, I'm buying it. I don't care, I'm buying it. More movement is really, really, really good in this game. Especially if you want to do melee. So, then I'll go in here. I have 18 hit points right now and 3 armor. When I switch to this, I have 21 hit points and no armor, but that's all right. Then I can sell the, uh, the polymer coating. plus one movement for being an elf, too, so now I'm at plus two movement over what a normal person has. Which is pretty good. And I'm at, like, what? I think I'm at nine hit points over what a normal person has. Because I got three extra hit points from this, I got three extra hit points from my background as a bouncer, and now three from that armor, so, yeah. I have nine hit points more than a regular character would have. So yeah, that's good. Feeling strong. Of course. And I still have a decent amount of money saved up toward the next... the next purchase after the next run. Iris is here. Pethra, Box B. Glorian Mana Storm, probably a spellcaster. Kunor Inarai, you know, some other people. Miss Bones Rigger, apparently a rigger, surprisingly. Alright, let's talk to Smedley again here and get the next next mission going. 
I have just the job for you. A bit of a milk run as a way of saying sorry for sending you after Luna ill prepared. Lies, it's never a milk run. There's no such thing as a milk run in my experience. <laughs> right? She knows what I'm talking about. It's a simple delivery. The Johnson wants to lay a bit of dirt on a junior exec at Neonet by the name of Jarl Merkson. Oh, Jarl, we saw that name before. Where did we just see that name? Was that the... Hmm. I can't remember. But we did just see the name Jarl. In one of those things this we read. Area is designated. So the Johnson wants to lay a bit of dirt on a junior exec at Neonet. By the name of Jarl. Okay. Corporate intrigue. That does sound easy. What exactly do you need? Jane has prepared some damning evidence of drug abuse and payments to a dealer. She's going to put it into his files. So what do you need me for? Jane can do that on her own. I want you to hide a cred stick with the payment history and some illicit substance in his office so the investigating court police can find it. I gotta go plant evidence. I see you've given this some thought. How do I get in? Jane will provide a temporary access pass to the Neonet Towers. It's a low security area, so there might be a couple of bots, nothing more. So, I suppose I should not leave my gun at home. That would be unwise. I see. Okay. Bots, huh? Maybe I should take a Decker with me this time. All right, well, that's uh, gonna be my next mission. Apparently there's still no side missions. Blue alert, recent gang activity, travel warning. So it's not as, it's not on like total riot mode like it was before. Um, so I'm gonna go on that mission, but uh, I'm gonna be on our next episode. Oh, oh shit, I just, did that again. I just pulled my, um, this area. Just pulled my headphones plug out of the back of my computer. Probably. Anyway, the stream's going to continue. Uh, I just need to take a two-minute break, uh, and then I'll be right back. But um, thanks for watching. This has been Josiah Please Shadowrun Chronicles Boston Lockdown.